In certain previous Battlefield titles, there have always been a couple of weapons that were held back from the community, hidden away from our prying eyes. Battlefield 3, we had the Silence Magnum and the Spash Shotgun, with a silencer as well, held back as developer-only choices, and later on in the DLC packs, they actually released the M1911 S-Tac, equipped with a silencer and a flashlight at the same time, that wasn't a thing back in Battlefield 3, that's going back, what, six years now, and that was given out for completing a complex assignment. It's been noted that there are a few of these weapons that exist in Battlefield 1 as well, developer-only options specifically held back from the community by DICE. Well, the cat's out of the bag now because DICE lifted the unlock requirements for all of the weapons in the Battlefield 1 CTE the other day, and along with access to all of the other weapons in the game, we got our hands on some things that you can't normally get through the menu. The C96 export and the Howder Pistol Sweeper. I've got some gameplay of both of them here, but let's start with the C96 export. The standard C96 in Battlefield 1 is available to the Medic class only, and it's one of the weapons that you can see on the cover art for the game. The Harlem Hellfighter is holding it out in front of him. Now, the export option is for all classes, not just the Medic, one of those developer privileges, and it comes with some differing stats to the standard C96 as well. There's an image on screen for you now, which shows those slight differences in the statistics. The export has a higher damage output than the standard C96, but it doesn't have as good control, so it's slightly harder to use. And if you look at the damage graph at the bottom, the solid white line indicates the export version, you can see that that damage drops off a little bit faster, but it ends up at the same minimum damage. So while it's got a higher maximum damage output, you'll only really experience that at extreme close ranges. So there is a difference between the public C96 and the developer C96. The export version in the game does actually have some real life history as well. It was a real thing. The original standard C96, the one that's represented in the public version of the weapon in Battlefield 1, uses 7.63 by 25 mm rounds, whereas the export the developer version, in real life, was adapted to use its own, unique, more powerful round, called the 9mm Mauser Export. These pistols were designed with foreign markets in mind, places like Africa, Asia, South America, and China. It's a cool looking weapon, the C96, but overall, the export in Battlefield 1 is not really much to write home about. Not compared to the second weapon, anyway the Howder Pistol Sweeper. This one is a completely different kettle of fish. The standard Howder Pistol in Battlefield 1 is contained to the Assault class, and it works really well as a close-range follow-up weapon to blow off the head of an enemy who's approaching you. The Howder Sweeper does something very similar, but there is quite a big difference on how it does it. The Sweeper swaps out its standard rounds for shotgun shells. The Howder Sweeper is a mini shotgun. I've got another image up on screen for you now to show you the difference in the stats between the standard Howder Pistol and the Sweeper variant, and there are some differences here. You'll be doing slightly less damage overall with the Sweeper, only very slightly. You'll have a very slight increase in accuracy, a big drop in the hipfire capability, and a slight increase in the overall control. It doesn't sound like the greatest change in the world, but taking those stats away again, you realise you're simply swapping a hand cannon with extremely powerful rounds for a small shotgun with extremely powerful rounds. And that makes everything a little bit more fun. I prefer this weapon far more out of the two, and it makes an excellent sidearm for a scout player who might need to rely on it in close quarters. Suddenly, you've got a mini shotgun to use instead of a pistol. Both of these weapons, as far as I know, will never see the light of day for standard players like you and me in the full game, and they'll remain locked up forever 
in the inventories of the developers over at DICE. Comparing these to the Battlefield 3 weapons, you can confidently say they're far less wacky, they're still in keeping with the World War 1 setting, but the Howder pistol wins it for me. Who doesn't love a mini shotgun? Thanks very much for watching, let me know if you enjoyed the video down in the comments, drop me a like down there too and share this video with your friends and let them know there's some hidden stuff out there that they can come and see. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.